Welcome to problem number one from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. The cost of airing a commercial on television is modeled by the function c of n equals 110n plus 900, where n is the number of times the commercial is aired. Based on this model, which statement is true? Okay, so we've got an equation in the form It's kind of similar to like y equals mx plus b. Oops, one second. Um, mx plus b. And one way to think of this type of equation is that b represents um, the initial or um, starting value of this relationship. And then m is our slope, so that um, kind of represents the rate of change. So in this situation here, we've got an initial or starting value of 900, and we're talking about dollars, right? So something is initially going to cost $900, plus there's an extra $110 per N, which represents the number of times the commercial is aired. So what this means is that um, this company has to pay $900 no matter what. And so looking at these list of options, it looks like that makes sense that it's costing $900 to produce. So even without airing this commercial on TV, it's going to cost $900 to make. And then for every time they air it, they're going to spend $110. For example, if they had to air the commercial five times, they would do $110 times five. So it makes sense that now option number three is the correct answer. It's costing $900 to make and plus $110 every time it's aired. All right, hope that makes sense, and thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.